Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the FTP server on Windows 2016 server and we are working inside Gen S3 um, here is my uh, Windows 2016 server and we'll be testing the FTP service later after setting it up with R1 which is a Cisco router so I'm going to right click on the server and select custom console and we're going into this using tight VNC first thing I need to do is create a folder where the FTP server is going to save its files. So on the C drive I'm just going to right click new select a folder and we're going to call this FTP backups doesn't really matter what you want to call it. And close that then clicking start button and we're going to go to server manager and I've already used manage add roles and features to add internet and information services as well as the FTP service which is uh, a separate part of it so to open FTP we go to tools and we go here to internet information services IIS manager on the left hand side here I click this uh, small little pointing arrow and then on sites I want to right click here and say add FTP site and give it a name doesn't matter what you call it this will be the name that it will display on the side so it's my FTP the physical path this must point to the directory that you have chosen where you want to save your FTP files click next the IP address is the IP address you'll be receiving the FTP on if it was left on or unassigned then all interfaces will allow um, FTP to come in that can be a security risk I'm going to use no SSL we want unsecured FTP we leave it on port 21 that's the FTP control port click next in this first video I'm just going to be setting up anonymous FTP without usernames and passwords I'm going to allow access for anonymous users and they can read and write click finish and there we are done I'm going to minimize this We'll go to router 1 now. Just waiting for router 1's console to open. First see if I can ping the server. So we can do a ping to 172.16.100.1 and ping the server. So now we can do copy running config to FTP colon forward slash forward slash and put the IP address 172.16.100.1 so it asks us is that the address or name of the remote host to confirm it yes it is the file name is going to call it r1-confg let's press enter to confirm that it says it's writing the file to the FTP server and there it says 1361 bytes copied so that has been successful I can now go back on the server and say custom console to get back in the server and um, if I open the folder that we set up earlier so that's on the C drive and FTP backups here you can see R1-CONFG and if I right click it I can say open with notepad and as you can see this is the backup file for the router so that's anonymous FTP in a another video I'll be showing you how to set up uh, FTP using usernames and passwords. Thank you very much for watching.